hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is sampath you're watching sampath samfix youtube channel and this is poco xc custom rom reviews this is a pixel experience plus variant for poco xc slash nfc android version you can see it's a android 13 you can see here this is the easter egg you get for android 13 and it's a quite interesting rom you can see the march 5th 2023 is the latest security patch available and kernel user is 4.14.307 march 27th the build date is and the build number also you can see it's a pretty good rom available for poco x slash nfc and i have made a dedicated uh, rom flashing video that's in shorts you can check out in my channel i already shared it and guys recently i have uh, done one facility for you that whatsapp has been opened i mean whatsapp groups are open for particular devices for poco x there is a dedicated group uh, from me you can join there i might not be answering you for every question but once you mingle with your uh, friends who, who is having similar devices they can help you in some other times and it might be useful hence i came into notice to give that uh, a link it's already present in my community section do check out guys and in this rom uh, the biggest thing is the cpu throttle link test i have run for almost 15 minutes now you can see it's the maximum score is around 188 and average is 144 and minimum is 116 and it's throttled to 71 percent of its max performance which is quite interesting rom this is and you can see the graph is a little bit Allowing you can see there are peaks with green yellow and red combination, but what I can say is it's a uh, Just a app result, but overall usage is very good. I can't say it's a 71 percent of its CPU is throttling that much, but it's a quite interesting ROM I can say That's how the CPU throttling results and I did one more thing the Geekbench 6 This is I did not found a Geekbench 5 anyhow. There's the Geekbench 6 scores You can see links 4.24.397 is the kernel 737 is the single score and 1751 is the multi score Which is quite similar to any other uh, custom rooms. The scores are very minimal here could I have been better in my opinion and these are the home skin and other things it's a pixel experience plus you will get a little bit of customization but overall it's a very simple custom rom you can see you get all this kind of wallpapers live bloom is available let's try this one i haven't tried these kind of uh, wallpapers i'm saying this is new you can also judge how much time it is taking while downloading with wi-fi i have 100 mps fiber connection it's uh, and even with mobile data connection also is working fine both are turned on maybe and you can see these are live wallpapers which are looking pretty good but it will drain the battery you should notice that and coming to yeah let me finish this one you get widgets obviously uh, battery widget has been added in android 13 and this track also if you want you can add them chrome clock that's the one thing this is the material you design you all guys know this now familiar with all these things we'll see what changes will be brought in android 14 once the android 14 uh, beta version will arrive to poco x i will definitely make that i mean the port rom or anything like that will be coming very soon subscribe to my channel guys and hit that bell notification whenever i upload a new videos you will get notified and if you like the video give it a like and uh, go and join the whatsapp groups i have already made if you have any dedicated smartphone other than poco x like me 11 x and other you can check out my community section there i have given the whatsapp link i mean the group link you can join there i might be answering sometimes but not every time but you might get help from some other person in the group itself that's the intention to bring that group and that's how it is let's move into some of the app uh, the benchmark results again the android benchmark you can also judge the app opening time it's quite fast here three lakh forty five thousand two hundred and six is the score and temperature raise is 3.4 degrees celsius and four percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing which is quite an interesting rom why i'm saying uh, quite interesting rom because uh, the stability in the ui is very very good once you flash this rom you will notice the even pixel experience normal variant i was using that a uh, couple of days later i flashed this let's see any difference there is little difference but it's very very stable that what i can say you can flash this rom and also i want to show these uh, screenshots actually 
as you can see i tried routing this rom also uh, two days back but this is the case it will happen after a certain time it will force close the application i have used the magix 25.2 uh, that's not uh, compatible or what I don't know the I nx like a camera whatever I shared in community section You can check out that that's simply not working here But this one the AGC camera which is working pretty good here You also get Leica integrated here and even watermarks and good thing in this particular camera the Gcam This is uh, you get uh, load loaded with the configs here you can use one among them and use it as a uh, configs and you can change your photograph uh, i mean the photography a little bit better it's a quite interesting also you get uh, front facing switch and 1.2x and 1.9x and 1x which is quite interesting again and portrait mode all these things i already explained if you want to use this camera go and use my telegram group is available community section is also available now the whatsapp group is also available i will be sharing this link of this camera application you should definitely try this out if you are into that gcam ports this is one of the best available right now if you don't mind uh, like uh, then go with nx uh, sorry the arno build gcam that's also pretty good in my opinion i was using from 2019 it's which is very good in terms of output from the camera if you are looking for a great output then try arno build gcam if you want something like vibrant looking colors then try this agc camera i hope you understood how should we choose the gcam port or the nx port obviously here you are not getting nx camera support okay now moving into DRAM information that's quite similar here level one certification such that you can watch all the ott application in high definition resolution now safety and status obviously again it will get passed because i haven't done routing i routed and installed like a camera again i unrooted hence it's passed i want to try that like a camera will it be useful or not but it's not working and the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you want to use those things are going to work fine now i want to show the fingerprint unlock speeds here as you can see that wobbling effect is still available here which is quite interesting and useful and the face unlock let's see yeah it is recognizing my face yeah you can see it's quite fast enough to unlock your smartphone using face and fingerprint unlocks i hope I explained every app results here battlegrounds mobile india it's playable uh, don't expect like a gaming rom or anything like but it's just playable for a snapdragon 732g chipset and this is a quick setting spell how smooth you can see the interface wise and the good thing is they have added this automatic brightness toggle which was not present in the previous versions which is very interesting and very important for me and this is how the quick settings toggle you get sync option is also available if you want something to be added you can drag them and add them you can see on the screen now moving into actual settings nothing new here and nothing uh, different here you can see it's quite similar here the battery and battery usage is very very good here it's a very good uh, balance from i can say you will get that performance whenever needed and whenever you want very good battle life you also get that which is very rare in my opinion for this poco x3 slash nfc that can be done from this particular rom that i really liked it in this particular custom rom adaptive preferences are given and uh, battery saver don't use this battery saver you have any critical situation then only use that if you use daily basis it will drain the battery instead you might understood this other settings like display again it's a quite similar you can see dark theme is also given but it's not in a pitch black condition there is no option also colors you can choose them some of the options has been given tap to wake and sleep are working fine a refresh rate per app is given and the refresh rate kept minimum and maximum to 120 now force it to 120 guys it's been uh, several months it's using the poco x let's force it to 120 and use that smoothness in the ui and other settings and wallpaper and style already explained access built menu which is a handy feature that is also made in shorts video check out my shorts video if you haven't checked it i made very uh, little again i will be making it out check out my shorts videos also there i have shown within a one minute i have shown even the flashing method also and security options as i said you get face and fingerprint unlock which is quite interesting and unlocking fastly 
location and maps google maps are working fine and you get some of the customizations as you can see gestures customization again quick tap to uh, start actions has been given system navigation again gesture navigation into gesture navigation you get as long swipe actions these can be added into your customization left right edge and edge touch area is given but there is an option to increase the pill length and the radius that would have been better in my opinion i was always giving this feedback let them add and one handed mode and as you can see okay the one handed mode might work okay uh, because of the tiny uh, pill length it's little bit difficult hence i required a bit little bit bigger one status bar customization again you get battery style just to the simple customization it's nothing but a pixel experience only these customization added hence it's a pixel experience plus this is how the pixel experience plus available for poco x slash nfc those are looking for this kind of clean ui with pixel experience then you can go and flash this and use this agc camera and if you know something advanced to use uh, magic models to increase the gameplay you can do that the kernel is also very good the battle of is also very good and the 33 watt charger support is also available on calling uh, it's a google dialer you can see you can directly make the video call and the connectivity wise it's fine the stereo speakers are also working fine the output is very very interesting let me show that settings uh, is that sound settings has been given or not yeah here haptic feedback again you will get as you can see you won't get any uh, patterns here this one is available uh, hi-fi audio system and some of the tweaking can be done in order to improve the audio experience it's a very good rom you can use it as a dialer stay tuned for a lot more videos coming that's it guys in this video we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps marrying bye bye for now